Welcome. What I want to do today is show you how to multiply two binomials by each other. So what I have first is my first binomial, which is 3a plus 3, and I'm going to multiply that by 4a plus 1. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to multiply uh, binomials by using the FOIL technique. And the FOIL technique is an acronym to represent um, parts that we're going to multiply. So I'm going to outline FOIL, okay? And F stands for the first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this binomial times a binomial. I'm going to say, all right, what is going to be the first represent? Well, what that first represents is my first two terms of each uh, binomial. So therefore, the first term, if you're going to read this from left to right of this binomial, is 3a plus 3. As I read this binomial, the first term reading from left to right is 4a. So what I have is, got enough room, right? I'm going to have 3a times 4a. Then the next one is O, which kind of means the outer, or I just kind of like to say the outside terms, okay? So the outer terms we think of are going to be, if you look at this as now as a whole, the outer terms or the outside terms are going to be 3a and 1. So I'm going to multiply those two numbers, which will be 3a times 1. Now, the next one are going to be the inner, or I'm just going to call it the inside. So, if the two are the outer, then the two inner, or the inside, are going to be 3 and 4a. So, I'm going to multiply those two, 3 times 4a. Then, the last, no pun intended, are going to be L, which stands for last. So, what we have is we have the first the outer, the inner, and now the last, which is going to be 3 times 1. So what I've done is I've kind of just connected multiplying these. A lot of times we like to use uh, little connectors with these lines to represent connecting them. And sometimes we even write a little, what it looks like a little foil face. So now the next thing that I need to do is I just need to multiply each of these terms. So 3a times 4a is going to equal... 12a squared. 3a times 1 equals 3a. 3 times 4a equals 12a. And 3 times 1 equals 3. So that is the product of each of my four, um, four products. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write them out. So I have 12a squared plus 3a plus 12a plus 3. Now it's important to write them in order as you did them just so they, therefore you don't have to regroup them as you're trying to combine like terms. So now what I want to do is combine like terms. Well, I notice that these two inner terms both have the same base and exponent, so I can combine them. They're the same term. So 12a squared plus, or I'm sorry, 3a plus 12a is going to provide me now with 15a plus 3. And now my product is just giving me or the product of these two binomials has now just produced 12a squared plus 15a plus 3. There you go. Thanks.